loading room. This is a HEPA filter. Preferably the room should be HEPA filter and the door, the main door of this food room should always be kept closed at all point in times and it should not be kept open. Okay, this is the chemotherapy hood or the lamina hood. We will see how to turn it on, how is the exhaust and how is the inlet, everything. Okay, this is the main button. You have to turn on the main and this is the blower, this is the tube light and this is the UV light. So, when the person is not working nearby or when it is closed, you can turn on the UV light. UV light should be kept on at all point in times when the personnel is not working here. But when the personnel is coming here to work on, then you have to turn off the UV light, turn on the blower and turn on the tube light. It takes time to turn on. Turn on the tube light when the person is working here. And you have to lift this viewing window and work inside. Okay? This is the viewing window. Usually once the hand is inside, you have to lower it down and then work only with your hands. So I will show you the, everything inside. So, so, this is the air filter which is on the top. If you see, there is a vertical air flow from the top to bottom. It is not a horizontal air flow from the left to right or right to left. Okay? I will explain you about the inlet of air, right? So now how is all this air suctioning happening? If you see there, there is an outlet provided where the air is exhausted into the environment. But it is a clean air which is getting exhausted. We are not causing any harm to the environment as such. Okay? So basically this is the whole point of uh, working in the laminar hood. We will see how to load the chemotherapy in this laminar hood now. Our sister John Mary is going to explain about the laminar hood and how to load it and show. So she has done the hand washing and now she is going to wear a personal protective equipment. This is 2% of chlorhexidine. So just sanitize the hands. If at all you are hand washing outside, then come in and sanitize your hands with that 2% uh, chlorhexidine. Follow all the hand washing techniques even for the sanitizer. This is a full sleeved gown which is covering till your breast and she is bare below elbows. This is an N95 respirator mask which is protecting any smaller aerosols from entering into the nostrils. This is an eye shield which helps protecting our face from any spillage of the hazardous drug or chemotherapy. Sterilizing your hand once finishing of wearing your PPE. Uh, the alternate for eye shield is there are goggles which also could be used just in case when eye shield is not available. She is wearing first one pair of gloves. I have mentioned to you that there will be two pair of sterile gloves that will be used. She will be going with sterile hand gloving technique.
placing all the required materials from the tray into the laminar hood area. So our drug is today Dono Rubicin. She will be reviewing the drug chart shortly and she is rechecking the drug. All the required materials are peeled off and put inside the area. It's an alcohol swab. So the personnel is sitting near the laminar hood on a chair and she is loading the chemotherapy drug now. So after entering into the laminar hood, she will be wearing the second pair of gloves. So two pairs of gloves is required because it helps with non penetrating into, it's, it helps you to not penetrate the chemotherapy onto your skin. In case there is any spillage, it helps you to not penetrate inside. Okay. Here is the drug Donorubicin, which is an anthracycline drug. You can know it by the color. It has a specific color of orange or you could call it like a cranberry juice color once you dilute it. So this has this drug comes in powder form. So this is a sound alike look alike drug. Donorubicin is a powder, doxorubicin is a liquid form drug. So you have to never confuse between these both. So donorubicin has to be diluted with 10 ml of sterile water. Ten ml of sterile water is inserted in. So never vigorously shake the chemotherapeutic agents but gently rub on your palm to dilute the mixture and look for any visible particles. If visible particles are there then you have to continue to rub on the palm. If there are no visible particles then you can collect the solution. So she is currently taking the dose of Donorubicin into the syringe. Donorobicin is injected into the NS. Next, the priming of the IV set is done inside the laminar hood. Let all the chemotherapy into the IV set, which will be ready to connect to the patient. The priming of the IV set along with Donorubicin is done. Now we will keep the product in the sterile container. I have kept a sterile uh, drape ready here. So we will keep it safely and cover it. Then we will see how to dispose the chemotherapy agent.
the remaining syringe, needle as well as the chemotherapy exposed material usually goes into yellow. And the first gloves, pair of gloves should be removed and put in the dustbin. It also goes into the chemotherapy exposed bin. She will be wearing a fresh pair of gloves and we'll give it to the patient. So one pair of gloves is discarded and the other pair she will be load, uh, giving the patient the medication. Now the UV light has to be turned on. The shutter has to be closed and UV light has to be turned back on till end of the day. Now she is carrying the tray with the chemotherapy into the patient's room. Thank you, Dr. Bhagla.